If you want to sell online courses on your WordPress website, this video is for you because I'm going to be revealing the best way to set up your WordPress website to sell online courses. All right, so let's dive in and let's get started. So over here, the first thing we need to do is to make sure that you have all the, ingre the ingredients needed for you to create your online course website. So first of all, we're going to need Learn Dash. This is going to manage all your courses and lay them out in a very neat way. Secondly, we're also going to need a way to collect all the payments when visitors come to our website. So we're going to use WooCommerce. And also we're going to need a way to upsell and downsell our courses. And for this, we are going to use Cutflows. Finally, we're going to need a tool that enables us to build our website. For that, we're going to be using Divi. However, you can use any other page builders and the design process is pretty much the same, but I just prefer to use Divi. And by the way, if you decide to buy any of these products, the affiliate links are in the video descriptions below. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is to go in and add our course. So I'm gonna come over here to my um, Woo to WooCommerce. So I am going to create a new product. So I'm gonna click here on add new. And let's give this product a name. So let's call this Money Mastery. Now over here, we are going to uh, give this a price so let's say 997 and over here for product data, we are going to set this to a course just by doing that. So pretty much that's all we need to do. I am going to hit publish. So that's our course created now. The next step is to actually create the, um, the landing pages for our course. And for this, we're going to use Cardflows. So I am going to uh, come over here to Cardflows in fact, let me update this page. Right, so here I'm gonna click on add new flow. So here Cardflows comes with these templates, but you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna worry about uh, choosing any of these because I'm gonna override it with my own template that I created using Divi. So I'm gonna come over here, click on import. Okay, so as you can see, we have the landing page, the checkout page, and the thank you page. Now let's give this uh, flow a name. So we're gonna call this money mastery. Okay, I'm just gonna click here on update. Now, so what I need to do next is to come over here and map my product. So I'm gonna click here on edit, and then I am going to come over here to search for a product. And then I'm just gonna type in the first few letters of my course that I created in the step number one. Okay, so it's money mastery. And there it goes, I'm gonna select it. Next, I am going to come over here to my checkout field. Enable field editor because by default, you're going to have all these fields activated. So the only fields I need here are just the first name and the email address. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uncheck all these. Great. And over here as well, sometimes this is not full width for the name. So I'm just gonna make it full width, 100%. Now I'm gonna click on update. Now, before we go any further, let's take a look at our checkout page so that we just have an idea of what it looks like. So I'm gonna open this in a new tab and here it is. So these are the two fields, the first name and the email address, and then over here, money mastery, and this is the price. So we have a beautiful checkout page here. All right, so that's looking great. Now let's go back over here and let's work on our landing page. So what I'm gonna do is to click here on update, just make sure that we have all our settings all saved, and then we are going to go back to edit flow. Now let's take a look at our landing page. So I am going to click here on edit, open this in a new tab. So here I'm gonna click on build on front end. So remember, this is the default landing page that comes with cut flows. So we don't want this really because we have our own that we created. So over here in my downloads folder, I have it as a layout that I created, as I mentioned earlier on. And also, uh, if you buy DV using my affiliate link, I can also give you access to this layout. So all I have to do now with this layout is to drag it over here. Very easy to, uh, to install. Next, I'm gonna click on replace existing content and then I'm gonna hit import Divi Builder layout, just like that. So in a moment, this design that comes with cart flows is going to be overridden by our own design. And here we go. So there we go. Now we have a custom design which we created 
in Divi. So we just need to make a few tweaks here. We see we have this white space on the top here. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'm gonna come over here to my section settings. I'm going to click on design spacing and add a negative margin of minus 80. So that will take away that white space. And then I'm gonna save. So we're not really done yet because we need to make sure that this button here links to our checkout page. So when people land on this page, when they hit buy now, they should be taken to that checkout page. In fact, let me show you the checkout page. This is the checkout page for the course. So let's go ahead and fix that. So first of all, I'm gonna save this. Now I'm gonna come back to my landing page, click here on edit, because all I need is this short code. So I'm gonna copy this short code. Now back over here on my landing page, so I'm gonna come over here to the button, click on this gear icon to go into the module settings. And then all I have to do is to, to add the link that I've just copied from my previous step here. And then I'm just gonna hit save changes. I'm gonna save the page. So now I'm gonna exit the visual builder and we're gonna test and see if this is going to work for us. So now let's assume that you've directed people to this landing page. And now if I hit on buy now, this should take us to our checkout page. So I'm gonna click on that. And sure enough, this has now taken us to our checkout page. And then when someone buys this course, they will go to the thank you page. So this is how you create professional looking landing pages using Divi, Cutflows and LearnDash. Now, so far we haven't had a look at how the courses look. So this is where you want to go to LearnDash. So let's come over here to LearnDash courses. I'm gonna hit leave. So this is where you want to uh, add your course. So I'm gonna hit add new. So the course here is Money Mastery. I'm gonna publish it. And now you need to come to the builder and this is where you can add all your lessons for your course. You save it and everything is all connected. So this is the best way to create an online course website using Divi, LearnDash and cut flows. All right. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments box below. And thank you very much for watching. If you have any uh, suggestions for any videos that you want me to create, please let me know in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.